Today, we're diving into a really strange mystery at the heart of artificial intelligence. How can you teach an AI a new trick, only to have it forget everything it used to know? It's like a weird form of AI amnesia. And we're going to explore a new idea, something called RL's razor, that might just be the key to solving it. So let's just get right to the heart of the matter with this one big question. Can you actually teach an AI a brand new skill? Let's say you want to teach it advanced calculus without it completely forgetting how to do something it was great at before, like, say, writing poetry. It sounds like it should be easy, but trust me, this is one of the biggest challenges in the field. And this challenge, it has a pretty dramatic name, catastrophic forgetting. It's exactly what it sounds like. The model just loses what it knew before when you show it something new. And this isn't some minor bug. It's a fundamental roadblock that's kept us from building AI that can truly learn and grow over time, like a person does. All right, so let's set this up like the genuine mystery it is. Section 1, the AI's amnesia problem. Okay, so picture this. This is the exact puzzle the researchers were looking at. You take two identical AI models, you train them on a new skill using two different training methods, and you get them to the exact same performance. They both get an A plus on the new test. You'd think they'd be basically the same now, right? Well, wrong. It turns out one of them remembers all its old skills just fine, while the other one has basically developed an amnesia. The billion dollar question is, why? So this brings us to the two main characters in our story, our two primary suspects, if you will, supervised fine tuning, which we'll call SFT, and reinforcement learning, or RL. And this is where we see the first piece of hard evidence. The researchers ran the experiments, and the results were pretty shocking. When they got both the SFT and RL models to a high score on a new math task, the difference in what they remembered was just stark. You can see it right here in this chart. This shows how well they still perform on the old stuff. And it's clear, RL consistently holds on to way more of its prior knowledge. SFT, on the other hand, seems to just throw it away to make room for the new skill. And get this, this wasn't just a one-time thing. The paper shows this pattern popping up again and again across totally different areas, from language models learning new facts to robotics learning new physical tasks. It seems to be a fundamental truth. RL just learns without this severe forgetting problem. So we have a clear pattern, a culprit who forgets less, but we still don't have a motive. We don't know why. So let's go on the hunt for what the paper calls the law of forgetting. So the crucial question becomes, what's the hidden variable? What's the single thing we can measure that will predict exactly how much an AI is going to forget, no matter which training method you use? Now, the researchers did what any good detective would do. They rounded up the usual suspects. You know, maybe it's just about how much the model's internal wiring, its weights, get changed. Or maybe it's about how its internal concepts or features get shuffled around. Or some other technical stuff. But one by one, they ruled them all out. None of them were the smoking gun. They were all dead ends. The real answer, it turns out, comes from a concept in information theory called KL divergence. Now, don't let the name scare you. It's actually a pretty intuitive idea. Think of it as a measure of surprise. If your original model had a certain way of behaving, KL divergence just measures how much the new model's behavior has shifted away from that. The bigger the shift, the more surprising its new answers are, and the higher the KL divergence. And this, this is the aha moment. This is where it all clicked. When the researchers measured this KL divergence, this behavior shift, and put it up against the amount of forgetting, the connection was just undeniable. They found an almost perfect correlation, a value of 0.96. I mean, in science, you almost never see a number that clean. It's a near-perfect predictor. It doesn't matter how you train the model. If you know the KL divergence, you know how much it's going to forget. This incredible discovery led them to propose what they call an empirical forgetting law. And it's as simple as it is powerful. The amount a model forgets is predicted by the KL divergence. And here's the kicker. You only need to measure it on the new task data. This is a huge deal. It means you can predict forgetting without having to go back and tediously check all the thousands of old things the model used to know. Okay, so we know what predicts the forgetting. It's KL divergence. But we still don't know why RL is so much better at keeping it low. And that brings us to the core concept of this whole paper, introducing RL's razor. To get this, you have to understand the fundamental difference in how they learn. SFT, supervised fine tuning, is like learning from a fixed recipe book. It's given a perfect set of examples and its only job is to copy them as closely as possible. But RL is what's called on policy. 
It's more like a chef in the kitchen, tasting and adjusting as they go. It learns from its own attempts, sampling from what it currently thinks is right. And that small difference in philosophy has a massive impact. This chart shows it all. The KL shift, how much the model's behavior changes, is just way, way lower for on-policy methods like RL. They're just inherently more conservative. They don't make big drastic changes because they're learning from their own current point of view. This all leads to the central idea, which the researchers brilliantly named RL's razor. You've probably heard of Occam's razor. The simplest solution is usually the best. Well, RL's razor is similar. Among all the possible ways to solve a new problem, RL has a natural bias to pick the solution that requires the smallest change from what it already knows. It picks the path of least resistance. This image here, while a bit abstract, is a great way to visualize it. Imagine that landscape represents all possible solutions. The model's current knowledge is sitting in that deep purple valley. Now, there might be an equally good solution in another valley, miles away. SFT, with its recipe book, might just teleport the model over there in an instant. But RL's razor acts like a guide. It encourages the model to find the best possible solution right there, in its own neighborhood, requiring the most minimal, closest change. So there you have it. The mystery is pretty much solved. So let's wrap this up and look at what this all means for the future of AI. Okay, let's just recap the whole story real quick. One, RL forgets less because it has a natural tendency to stay close to the original model. Two, we can measure that closeness with KL divergence, and that measurement is an amazing predictor of forgetting. And three, this all happens because of a simple, elegant principle called RL's razor, the bias to find the closest possible solution. So the most important thing to take away from this isn't just that RL is better. That's not the point. The real insight here is a design principle for building better AI. If we want AI that can learn continuously without getting amnesia, we need to build algorithms that actively search for these KL minimal solutions, the solutions that change the model as little as possible. What this research gives us is a brand new lens to look at this problem and a powerful new law to guide us. And so it leaves us with one final, really tantalizing question. Now that we finally understand the physics of how AI forgets, can we at last build an AI that actually remembers forever?